So make sure your phones are put away because I cannot compete with your phones. They're just way too awesome compared to me. Uh, here we go. Okay, this is this is where we get into the main uh, way of like this is probably the most math you're gonna see here in this unit. So there are four ways to state your tolerance. Is this, did I do this with you yet? So I would strongly recommend on your study sheets, you have, try to make it as small as possible, but you have these four uh, ways of representing tolerance in your study sheet. So that if I ask you, because this is how it's going to go, guys. I'm going to give you one of these. So let's say I give you something that looks like this. You're like, okay, I have this one rewrite it in the other three formats you got to be able to go into the other three formats you got to be able to do that right um so you're like what is this like what is what is this for example here well let's say i'm running a machine and the target is 45 millimeters i cannot go bigger bigger is no good like in this particular instance I can't go bigger than that, but I can go a little smaller than that. Less is okay in this case. So that's what this is doing. So every industry may prefer one over the other. Let's say this operator right here at the bottom. Hey, just make sure whatever you're producing, just make sure it's between 15 and 12 centimeters. Maybe he's making, he or she, they're making bungee cords, bungee straps. It's like, hey, I don't know. As long as it's anywhere between 15 and 12 centimeters, we're good. Just throw it in the bin. We'll sell it, right? Uh, it's fine. Maybe because we need to make a, put a knot on the ends for those hooks or whatever, just 15 to 12 is all good. And so every industry has a bit of a different twist to it. What are the orange things there, guys? What are the orange? The big number up front can you remember this if anything else? The big number up front is what we call nominal, and nominal is the target. I can put target under target, right? This is the target. This is ideally, you want every piece to be whatever the target or what we call the nominal. They're the same thing, okay? And the big number up front is always it. That's what, that's what in every single of these scenarios, you want to aim for that. Okay. So uh, what about this last one here? Is there a big number on this one? No. I emailed the province about that one. They responded. They said, in this case, most likely you're not, we're not going to ask you for the nominal. We're not going to ask you for the target in this case. But if we do, <laughs> if we do, it would just be find the average between these two. So add max and the min. You're like, max, min, what, what? You should recognize the numbers. Go on your study sheet. Which one does this look like? It looks like this one that has two numbers stacked, right? And so you know this is your max and this is your min. So just add them, then divide it by two. The brackets are there for a reason. You gotta hit equal and then divide it by two, or you insert brackets, whichever one you want. So let's find the let's let's fill in all of these for every single one. 30. So let's do this one. The big number up front, that's my nominal. Let's put it down. Put it down right away. Then I would ask you to do the other three. I, I can't cover every scenario, but this is what I'm going to tell you. Do the max and the min first before you do tolerance. Do the max and the min first before you do tolerance. So what's the max? How would you get the max out of this? Well, you guessed it. You take the five and then you add the two. So that's seven degrees Celsius is the max allowed in this case. I'm trying to find an example where that would be the case. I don't know, some kind of like, I don't know, medication or I don't know. But remember, 
with Pfizer or one of those vaccines, the biggest problem was preserving it. Like, like if they had to ship it to rural communities, I don't know which brand it was, but it had to stay super cold. Like it had to stay super cold. If it got too warm, it would spoil it. And so there was a tolerance there, right? Um, so seven minimum is what? Five minus, what is this? Zero. Well, it's just five. And you're like, that's silly. Why would you do that, Mr. Dirksen? Because sometimes this, is, this could be a non-zero value. Okay, so just go with what it says here, guys. It's right there. And tolerance is what? Tolerance is max minus min. I will, I will, if at all possible. And just so you know, it's up here as well. Tolerance, you can definitely find it by just subtracting the greatest and the smallest, right? The greatest minus the smallest is what the tolerance is. So we're going to go seven minus five is two degrees Celsius. And I know some of you are going to see a pattern and you're going to do it slightly differently and that's okay. Right? So do the max and the min first. Again, here. What's the max? 45 plus zero. So it's 45 watt millimeters. The min is 45 minus one, which is 44 millimeters. What's my tolerance? Oh, it's one. I can tell, Mr. Dirksen. Just go max minus min. 45 minus 44 is one millimeter. And you got it. What about this one? This is your max, guys. This is your max. So let's put it down 15 centimeters. Let's put arrow max. And this is min, 12 centimeters. What's the tolerance? I told you, right? Subtract them. 15 minus 12 is 3 centimeters. There's a 3 centimeter tolerance. And nominal, I don't have one big number, so Mr. Durson told me, do it this way. So 15 plus 12, bracket, divided by 2. So that's 27 divided by 2. So what's 27 divided by 2? 13.5. Some mental math is good, you know. Um, centimeters. This is, this is my, technically we would consider, this is probably the target. Like you're trying to aim for the middle. If you're a little over, a little under, that's fine. Okay, why did you make us do this, Mr. Dirksen? Because I, I'm going to try to use this skill, you taking any one of the four formats and, and making this inventory. If you have this inventory, you can just use your templates to rewrite it. Okay, so here, here's what I'm trying to do. Let's go to the next page here. 39. Rewriting tolerance, 39, okay? When you're asked to rewrite the tolerance into the other formats, you should try to determine the max, the min, the tolerance, and the nominal. Once you know these, you can simply follow the formats on your study sheet. So I'm asking you, write the following. <laughs> Sorry, supposed to say. Write the following into the other three formats. So what is it saying here? A lumber yard cuts strips of wood. The strips need to follow a tolerance of, and here it is. Is there one big number up front? Yep, so highlight that. It's 45, you already did that, Mr. Dirksen. Don't worry about it, just follow, okay? So the 45 is the first thing that I would actually ask you to do. That's the easiest most of the time. And then I'm going to ask you to do the max min tolerance. So I'm going to go 45 plus, you need to do a little bit of mental math here, but you can use your calculator. What's half of four? 
it's 2, right? So basically, to get your max, you're going to go 45 plus 2. So that's the greatest measurement. The strip can be up to 47 millimeters, and the minimum would be 45 minus 2. So that is 43 millimeters. Do not round in this unit, okay? If it's some weird three decimal number, you go with it. And how do I find my tolerance? It is in here, right? But just to be safe, just go max minus min. Okay, 47 minus 43. And that is four, you guessed it, four millimeters. So nominal is like a given, just do that, then max min tolerance. Okay, so from this, guys, we distilled it. We took it apart and we're like, okay, now we know all of these. This is your, this is your key to success. You being able to take information and break it down into these components. Right, you take the tolerance. Which one does this look like, by the way? This one. You look at your study sheet. It looks like this one, right? So this one is already done. I need to rewrite this one into these three formats. And I'm going to use this to help me do that. Okay, so now it's basically, you know, copy, paste, and word, right? Control C, Control V. That's what you're going to be doing here. So how are we going to make this look like that? Well, what does it ask for? Max. You go get that number. It's 47. Min. You go get it. 43. Done. One mark for that. So check. You got the first. You rewrote it into one of the three formats that we wanted yet. You take the next one. This is on your study sheet, hopefully. What's your min? 43, right? So you copy paste, so you go 43. Don't forget your units. And look at how we, it's a bit weird, right? But it's minus zero just below it, minus zero millimeters, plus what's your tolerance based on this chart? four so you go plus four millimeters bingo done second format is done all you have to do is follow the the template and get your information from this table here that you've created i will not be giving you this table you need to know like i'm going to break this down to max min tolerance nominal okay next Max, it asks for max. I'm going to go get it. That's 47. And I'm going to go plus zero because that's what my template tells me. And I'm going to go minus whatever the tolerance is. I already know it's four millimeters. Bingo. You got it. Because this one you already have already given, right? This is already given. So I will give you one of the four. You have to break it down and then take that info to write it into the other three. And you're gonna have to practice that. It doesn't come, it doesn't just come like this, right? Naturally, you gotta practice. I'll ask you to do that on the next page, but before we do that, let's do some, uh, this is mental math at its finest, okay? Which of the following strips would be acceptable? Okay, if you had, if you had these, all these strips, which ones, which one of these would you accept and which one would you discard? And I'm going to do this. I'm going to say that I'm going to use this one here, 47 to 43, right? Anywhere, anything in between, including these is going to be acceptable. Is this acceptable? It's just over the min, right? So yes. Is this acceptable? Uh-uh. It's, it's just over the max, right? You're like, seriously, Mr. Dirksen, 0 0.01.
in reality, probably I could see somebody letting it go, right? But we won't. We're, we're going to be sticklers, right? We're going to stick to the rules. Forty-two ninety-nine. That's just below the lowest you're allowed, right? Forty-two ninety-nine. So, ah, eh, it fails. Forty-two seventy-nine. It fails, right? It's not quite. It has to be forty-three and up, all the way to forty-seven. It has to be in between here. How about we do this? You want visuals? This is 43, this is 47. 43.01 is right here, 43.01. 47.01 is just above 47. So this is a no-no, right? This is check. Anything in between here is good. 42.99 is, is under, so that's no good. 42.79 is even smaller no good right so the only one that makes it is this one here okay this is acceptable and everything else is rejected okay. i hope you kind of wrap your head around this let's try i want you to try now okay you're gonna risk okay here you go. You're going to take a risk. You're going to do this whole page on your own. Okay? So make sure your phones are put away, right? Put the phones away. Go to page 40. It says you try. So I give you one. You fill in this thing. And then you rewrite it in the other formats. And then answer which one of the following would be considered an official field. Okay? So go for it. Just give it an honest try. So here we go. I look at this and I look at my study sheet and I'm like, which one is this again? Minus zero. Which one has the minus, right? Like you want to kind of focus on that. It's this one. Okay. So this is the one that's already given. I don't need to do that one again. So from there, I'm going to take my nominal, right? Like this is what I'm, what I'm after. It's 110 yards. The nominal is my target, that the big number is always the nominal. Okay, And then I go max is 110 plus 10. Just follow this, right? Plus 10 gets you the highest. And then min is 110 minus 0. Really? Really? You're going to do that, Mr. Jackson? Are you going to go there? Yeah, minus 0 just to show, right? So max and min is there. Tolerance. You just subtract the two. Make sure you do that because you will see something like a curveball down the road. Okay. So now you have this. This is your breakdown. It may not be asked of you to do that, but this is this would be step number one. Okay. And your study should have this one, right? Like do this first. And then max min, write it like this. Where is the max and the min? It's right here. So it's 120 yards, 110 yards. Right? You just use the information from up there. Already done. This one asks for max first. So it's 120 yards plus zero, plus zero yards in this case, minus whatever the tolerance is, which is 10. Okay. There, there we go. And the last one, this one is a little trickier, but not really. Nominal, which is right there, 110, plus or minus half of whatever the tolerance is, which is 10. Make sure you, you add units everywhere you go. Just add them. You will not lose marks for doing that. So you, when you when you do this breakdown, you're you're able to essentially do any any of the other ones, no problem, right? Just follow your template, and maybe I will ask you to uh, take a moment and add this to your study sheet. Next, let's answer these questions here. Which of the following fields would be considered an official field? And you know what? Let's do the visual again. We know that we can go up to 120 yards and as low as 110 yards. Anything in between here 
is acceptable. So let's see, 109, 110, yes, it's right on it. 120, yes. 121, no, too big. Too big, too small, or too short, too long. Right? In this case, context, right? Too long, too short, there we go. So there you have it. Let's keep going. Write it down. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, but you learned, right? Don't be scared to make mistakes. You make mistakes. Once you reach my age, you don't make them anymore. But other than that, Nice try. Nice try. Okay. I want you to ace this. So watch. I'm going to ask you to do this. And there's a curveball coming on page 42. This one here. This one is a bit curveball. But not really if you just follow my formats. Right? So I want you to do 41. I want you to do 41 and 42. No AC today, so this is instead of an AC, but I want to be able to walk around and see that this is done, right? That's gonna be my AC today, just making sure you try it. So when I correct it, you need to, you might need to do some corrections. That is fine, right? And uh, just keep that phone down for now, okay guys? I know it's a huge pull, but just do this first, 41, 42, and then maybe you, you reward yourselves a little bit with a little bit of screen time, all right? 41 and 42. Um, if you have some time, add it to your study sheet, right? So should I do that? Should I do that for you? On my study sheet, I'm just going to give you an idea and you can, you can improve, right? But I would have... The four formats for tolerance. Four formats for tolerance. And then I would have max, min. I would have min minus zero plus tolerance. I would have max plus zero minus tolerance. And then I would have nominal plus or minus one half tolerance, right? That way you at least have, you have them, right? So that's what I, maybe you just put it somewhere on a piece of, you know, scrap paper or whatever, or somewhere in the book. It is in the book, right? So why would you? So, and then I would tell myself uh, to rewrite, Break down into max, min, tolerance, nominal. Okay, and this is our target. And then you can make a note. I'll just make an arrow, the big number the big number in front, the big number in front, but then you also have to know that if there isn't a big number that you have to add and divide by two, right, to get that. And tolerance, I would go, this is max minus min. I think this basically summarize, summarizes, um, that would be a pretty good study sheet entry if you ask me. Okay, so go to town, do 41 and 42, and uh, I'll take it back in a bit. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of start to talk about some review material, okay? Because yes, 
we're almost done, but at the same time, there's still some things that I want to review before we uh, write our test, okay? So 41, 42, you got it, right? Okay, go to town.
Alright, let's have fun with this. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over it with you. Go to 41. I did my homework and I have it done already. So, correct it, okay, correct it. And then I'll, uh, I'll do a bunch of other things yet. So if you think you're off the hook, all of that is not on the video. That's maybe, that's okay. I have to repeat it. Okay, as I was saying, you know, here's the key. I'm just going to show you the key at least, right? If, if my, my YouTube subscribers... There we go. I got to keep my fans happy. Anyways. Um, oh, do you... I didn't assign the 43... But uh, 43 is like if you if you know everything up to 42, this is just one more example, right? So I don't know if you want to write this down, um, but really there's not nothing new there. Everything is still the same. So if you want 100% on the test, if you're that student, right? You need to be able to uh, go to 44. If I ask you something. Like use tolerance to explain why, you know, for example, medication. Why is it important important to to be very careful with the tolerance when it comes to medication? Well, you would have to say this. These are the key words here. If it's too low, too low of a dosage would make it ineffective. too much, right, or too big of a dosage, too much of a dosage could cause an overdose. So there's a problem either way. If it's, if it's too little, too little is probably not as, it's not as deadly, right, but going over is definitely not what you want. And then uh, what about entrance door? If it's too small, if the door is too small, you'd have drafts, right? Like it, like air would come in, like cold air comes in in the winter, hot air in the summer. But if it's too large or too big, it would make it impossible to close the door, right? Like if it's too bigger than the frame, you just, you just couldn't close the door. T-shirts, too loose would make it uncomfortable, right? I mean, some people like loose. I like it loose, but I'm getting bigger. I'm gaining weight, right? So anyways, too tight would make the shirt, the shirt would obviously not fit, right? Battery. I left some blank to see if you can, what would you say with a battery? What would happen if it's too low, if the, if the voltage is too low? Yeah. If the voltage is too low so now right too low uh, the device would not work would not power on 
Use your own words. I'm okay with that. If it is too high, what's going to happen then? Yeah. It would fry the device. I'm okay with that. It would cause, it would burn out components in the device, causing it to, you know, break, whatever. A fridge. What would you say there? If it is too cold, what's going to happen to your food? Yeah, it will freeze. If it is too warm, it's going to spoil, right? The contents or the food will spoil. That's you know what? If you can if you can talk about what happens if it's too low or too high of whatever we're talking about, you're gonna get the marks. So don't just talk about the too high or just the too low. Talk about both ends. Speed limit on a highway. I don't know what I was thinking by putting that down. If you're going too slow, you're actually becoming a hazard to other drivers, right? If you're too slow, you actually, I think you can actually get a ticket in certain, I don't know if in Manitoba, but I know that there are, you can get tickets for driving too slow on the highway. If you're going too fast, you're also a hazard. You could be getting a ticket, right? If you drive too slow, you become a hazard. Oops. And disrupt the flow of traffic. This is where you come in and you just like write your heart out and make make me under make me see that you understand what needs to happen, right? Too fast, uh, you endanger the safety of yourself and others. Something like that. Ah, that probably not the best example but I tried um, we got that done so we'll be able to answer those questions I need to talk about measurement plus or minus the uncertainty yet a little bit more in detail so I'm gonna stop this here